Hi, uh, this is my second video log for my website www.TheEverydayVampire.com um, and there you can find some of my written blogs and a little bit more detailed and you know things like resources to, to back up what I'm saying. So today I, I wanted to talk about what I've been doing um, with my diet. I mentioned before that I am uh, a sometimes bodybuilder. Well, I'm, I'm usually an everyday bodybuilder. That would be my preference. So about four months ago, um, I kind of hit a peak and I wanted to change it. And the way that I found that everybody was talking about was by doing keto or the ketogenic diet. Well, keto is, is great. Um, it's, it's basically forcing your body to use fat as fuel. That's why it's called keto ketogenic. Ketosis is the, is the process of pushing your body to burn fat as fuel. And this can have a lot of ben benefits. Um, it can help your meto metabolic rate, um, insulin sensitivity, your energy levels. Uh, most people who are on it have fantastic results. I have been doing it now, like I said, for about four months and while I can't say that I've lost a ton of weight, my weight actually hasn't changed a whole lot. I think I've actually gained weight, which is not great, but um, I'm probably not doing it right, or so I've been told. <laughs> but I've also experienced a lot of other great things for the first time in my life. I don't have cystic acne. My skin is clear, and that that's a huge deal. Um, my hormone levels have have you know straightened out, and my cycle is not as intense, it's not as severe, the levels aren't, and I'm not up here one day and then just completely down here the next. Um, and that's great. Those are, those are great things that I've experienced using a ketogenic diet. Well, I hate to say, but for somebody with AIP, a ketogenic diet is actually completely horrendous for our bodies. And I have to explain why. So if you remember, AIP is a liver, a metabolic liver disorder, where you don't have enough enzymes to process and make blood, basically. You, you, you make weak blood that just kind of falls apart and then you have a bunch of debris just cascading around causing all sorts of terrible issues. Well, if you can understand why, your liver in somebody with AIP is under constant stress. It is always trying to make new blood. Well, the ketogenic diet is a twofold problem when somebody with AIP. See, AIP, the process of making blood can actually be slowed and the triggers can be managed through the use of glucose and carbohydrates. Now, if you're going into a ketogenic diet, you know that it is a low carb diet, high fat. So that's your first problem. Your ability to shut off the heme precursors, your body's signal pathways that you need more blood, you must make more blood. You're never shutting them off. You're in a full blown, I must always make blood. This is, this is what my body needs. And it never kind of slows down and your body never really gets a break. Your liver never stops. So that's one. Two is that ketosis being a metabolic process puts extra strain on your liver. That's not great because ketosis is basically making your liver take fat and turn it into energy or fuel. And as somebody who's normal, this is great. This, this makes your body use and store the stored fat that you have and you're not hungry, you don't have the, the hunger pangs, you don't get hangry, and that's, that's really cool, and you can, um, you know, have a bulletproof coffee in the morning, and, you know, not eat until dinner the, the, that night. I, I've loved that about keto, um, because I can just go through the day, I know I'm hungry, but I'm not like, I want to eat now, that doesn't happen. Over the last week, it's kind of come to 
uh, an, a head, as it were, um, as my liver is no longer able to keep up, uh, no matter what I do. Uh, glucose has been, you know, I've, I've actually introduced some carbs back into my diet in an attempt to not end up in the hospital, because that's preferable, you know? <laughs> and it's helped, it's helped some, but it's not helped enough. Um, at this point, it feels like there are uh, just fiery nails going up my back and my nerves, and my liver feels like it's like this big, but it's being squished to be this small. So there's, there's problems. Now, I don't think ketosis and I don't think the ketogenic diet are bad things. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, I have a sister who does amazing on a ketogenic diet. I, I think I'm going to have to stop because it's not really working out the way I'd hoped. I'd hoped I'd been able to manage it, to get the benefits while still managing my AIP. And I don't think that's going to be possible anymore. Uh, not with the way my energy levels all, and all of my, my symptoms are slowly creeping back in, where I'm nauseated, I'm exhausted, my head hurts, my back is on fire. Um, it may well not be very long until my skin starts going bad, because it does do that. and it's one of the worst bits about it um so you kind of get flaky and dry um so that's kind of where i'm going with this is if you have aip or honestly any of the porphyrias um because there are several of them i would not undertake a ketogenic lifestyle uh definitely not without the consent and the input from your your doctor or your GP because you're, you're really just asking for things to go really wrong. Um, <laughs> in fact, a lot of people who have never, who had never shown any kind of issues with AIP were triggered a few, you know, when a few years ago when the Atkins diet came out, which was the first low carb, you know, high fat diet. <clears throat> So, really, honestly, that's, I guess, re that's really where I'm going with this, is just, you don't have to try keto if you have AIP. I've done it for you. It's not a long-term, sustainable thing. So, I'll catch you next time, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to check out my site, uh, again, it's www.everydayvampire.com, or theeverydayvampire.com. <laughs> And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching again. Bye.